Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. Um, I am going to make a cake today, and um, it's called a coconut poke cake. Now, the reason that I'm making this cake is because um, I've got my apron tied really loose so I'm not wrinkling my shirt. Miss Carol called yesterday and she's gonna take me to lunch. So anyway, um, the reason I'm making this coconut cake is because I have this coconut left from making cowboy cookies. I don't want it to go to waste. Right now it's still nice and fresh. So, um, this coconut cake calls for a 14 ounce can of cream of coconut. If y'all shop at Smart and Final, it's on aisle five on the right hand side. <laughs> and then it takes a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, y'all, I'm going to tell you, this is going to probably be, well, I won't say that, but it is going to be a very sweet cake. And after you make it, um, you mix the uh, cream of coconut and the sweetened condensed milk together. And when your cake comes out of the oven, hopefully right side up, then you immediately poke holes in it and you put these two cans of milk over the hot cake and then of course you let it cool completely you put it in the refrigerator and before you're ready to serve it you slather it with cool whip you could use real whipped cream and then sprinkle a little coconut on top now i wish i had some food coloring y'all it's taking me a long time to uh gather things that you would normally have in your kitchen if you cook and bake and um of course one of those is a bunt pan and um a little bit of food coloring and that would have made my cake really pretty. Uh, I'll check with Steph. She might have some. Even though she doesn't really bake, she's got all kinds of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to make this cake. And then um, I'll show it to you when I get it finished. I will show you. Now, um, Azalea, the office manager, is Hispanic. And one day I asked her, I said, well, what's your favorite cake? Because I take them stuff all the time. And her husband, Luis, works with her. Um, so she told me, and I'm not going to say this correctly, y'all. Do I have a loose hair? Ew, I did. Even though it's clean. I don't like, oh, fix that one right up. Anyway. Um, she told me that it is, and I've wanted to make one of these before, you guys, and I just never have, but it's called a treleche, treleche, uh, tres leche, three milk cake, okay? <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. So, anyway, I had already gotten these little cans. Now these are uh, seven ounce. So two of those is going to make my 14 ounces. And then um, here is my cream of coconut. Now you have to be careful because when you're looking at this stuff, I almost picked up a can of coconut milk it's different 
the coconut milk would have been too liquidy, too runny. Now, it might have worked, but... Oh, oven's ready. So, um, this is cream of coconut. Now, I found this. It was... Um, there's a uh, Asian Hispanic... This side. Asian Hispanic uh, section of food. And that's where it was. Now, I thought it would be over by the baking stuff um, in where the, uh, you know, sweetened condensed milk, the evaporated milk. I better put this away because I don't want to accidentally use it. Okay, and that could very well happen. Now, um... I do want to tell y'all, you remember, um, so here's my oil. I've already got my third a cup of oil done. Here's my classic white. Now, I like the classic white because it calls for only three egg whites. Oops, can y'all see that? Um... It does not call for vanilla, but I'm going to use a teaspoon of it. There's my three eggs. Here's my coconut. Here's my monster mixer. Okay, so, um, oh, I wanted to, I got this can opener. I had gotten another one off Amazon because it was pink. It sucked. I mean, really, y'all, it was awful. It wouldn't even open cans. So, of course, my KitchenAid, that's a monster can opener. It works awesomely. So, I do have this can that will have to be opened with the can opener. So, um... Carol and I, I'm going to pick her up at noon, so that gives me three hours to get this cake done. Now, I'm going to see if I can show you Miss Hazel. Do you see how long her hair is? Well, I have to say that... Um, Oops, that Miss Tracy uh, threw her back out. So, Miss Hazel's on hold for a little bit. And then, when before I take her over there to get groomed, I'm going to bathe her myself because Tracy uses her guest bathroom, and that's where she bathes her dogs. So she would have to bend over to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and give Hazel her bath. Um, washing her little face. Oh, my. My poor baby. She is so in attack mode when you get close to her. I'm, her feet are getting better, but her face, forget it. Ears, forget it. Teeth, not happening. Now, y'all, I thought, okay, I just need to go get some clippers and try to do this myself. And a lot of y'all did not see the video I did so very long ago where I tried to cut, clip Hazel's hair myself. She looked like a patchwork quilt. It was awful. She was embarrassed. She didn't want to go out anywhere. She was embarrassed. I swear, I think she was. It was so horrible. She's so wiggly, and I don't have one of those tables where they put the little thing, you know, hook it around their neck, and it kind of keeps them still. Um, I've always thought that was kind of cruel, but, I mean, Hazel's not a puller. 
If she has a collar on, she walks just fine. She is not a puller. Uh, I would never uh, wear a collar on her if she was because their little tracheas are very delicate. Um, so anyway, y'all, uh, Miss Hazel is going to look like a little bear for a while longer. So um, I better get busy. Oh, I see they've moved the higher, the higher phydrant. Can y'all figure out what I'm trying to say? Huh. They're over there right now. Maybe the city's inspecting it. I don't know. But anyway, y'all, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm making this cake, and that is fun for me. I've made this video for y'all. That's definitely fun for me. And um, going to lunch, that's definitely going to be fun. So my day is packed with fun stuff. So do something fun yourselves today. Um... You know, this morning when I was praying, I was just asking God to help me to be more sensitive and uh, a kinder person. Y'all see me in these videos and you think I'm so wonderful. And I pretty much am. <laughs> but man, oh man, I am human, y'all. I'm still dealing with some HOA stuff, and um, it's not easy. You have to stand up for your principles and your beliefs, and it's not always easy to do that in a kind, low, calm voice, so... I'm praying for that, y'all. But anyway, it's going to be a gorgeous day. It's going to get hot pretty soon. It's real overcast right now, but that'll lift and we'll get some sun. So, love y'all. You new folks, welcome aboard. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate every single one of you. And Gary, I've got a little video. I might have put it out this morning. And I'm sorry I tried to link those two videos and I forgot. Gary loves long videos. I thought most of y'all kind of like the smaller, shorter ones. So I was trying to rein myself in a little bit, um, which you know is hard. I tried to get this video off probably two, three minutes ago, and I was not successful. But... Um, there's a video that'll come out before this one. I know you guys were cracking up. I was cracking up. It wasn't pretty, was it? So I'm hoping this cake is going to come out unhurt. Love y'all. Bye now. Well, y'all, I did not get a picture of this cake when it was intact but i have to tell you it is so good now the one thing that i would do differently if i was making this cake again which i'm sure i will is when you poke holes all over the cake and you pour all that yummy condensed milk, sugary, whatever you want to call that stuff. You just want to pour it slowly in the middle of your cake first and let it soak in. Because what happened yesterday is... Um, Yes, that's a squirt gun, and it does work. Pity the next person that comes to my door. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, what happened was I was just pouring it, not real fast, but I was pouring it on, and a lot of it 
went to the corners. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. It doesn't really show up on the camera. So the corners actually had more of, oh, there you go. There it is. And it does not taste bad, y'all. I'm not saying that. But just for a more even texture of your cake. So, I've got two people left that I want to have uh, give them some cake. But I have to make sure I catch them when they're home because this is refrigerated. And it is so good, y'all. It is so yummy. So, I'm going to tack this on to the other video. Aren't you amazed? Do something fun today. Talk to y'all later. Bye now.